Hey, it's a new year, it's 2016, and we haven't done a video for a guitar club in a long time. And um, we're going to work on a song called Twist and Shout. This is stage one, where we're just going to work on the uh, chords. And to start out with, let's get in tune. So first string is E. Second string is B. Third string is G. Fourth string is D. First string is A, and sixth string is low E. I'll be here somewhere. No, I don't. Okay. So, first thing we're going to do is remember the chords. We're going to do the little chords first for the beginners, and then we'll do the bigger chords for the more advanced players. So, this is a simplified version to start with, and hopefully, we're going to build up till we have the full song. First finger, second finger, third finger. Third finger on the one, two, three, third fret. Notice my thumb is behind the neck. And notice my pick is going to strum. This is the G chord, four strings. first finger we're going to make the C chord. C chord we're only going to strum three strings so but the trick here is you have to make sure your index finger is not blocking any other strings except the second string first fret. First finger one two second string first fret and then you're going to strum three strings. <laughs> to go to D7th, we're going to push, put our second finger on the third string second fret, then on the same fret but on the first string is the third finger. So I think of it as a triangle shape. And for the D7th, once you learn the D7th, you know it for the whole chord. You don't have to add more fingers later on for this voicing of the chord. So for this one, we don't play the sixth string low E because E doesn't really blend with the chord well. So we're going to start here on the fifth string and gently strum. And you might have to do this. Make sure you got it all clear. So let's review the three little chords. G, C, and then don't lift the first finger up. And that's the whole, those three chords, you can play hundreds of songs. Full G chord. There's two fingerings. I think it's good to know both fingerings because you never know which one is going to work best for you in a particular song. But this is the second finger, first finger, and third finger version. The G or the G major chord. Now to switch from this G major to the C chord, you got to... Move all the way around here. Third finger, second finger, open. First finger, open. So it's sometimes easier to, though we're not used to using our pinky, if you can use your third finger, second finger, and pinky here, then when you switch to the C chord, you just pop this down and lift the pinky. If you really want to get fancy, you can leave the pinky down. It's still another version of the C chord. So here's the here's the song real slow. Two G's, two C's, and four beats of D seven. All down strokes with a pick. For those of you playing the little chords, we do the little chords. This week, once you get that nice and smooth without pause, we're going to do this with the D seventh chord. We're going to strum up, down, up, up, down. Do that again. So here's the whole pattern. 
you see the whole guitar. Here we go. Push the child Come on, come on, baby, now Come on, work it on now You know you twist the little girl You know you look so fine Come on and twist a little close now Very the strong a little bit. Have fun practice, practice every day. Practice, 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 practice.